Hello everyone, it's now 9.25 a.m. in the morning. So, I'm trying to figure out how to do this, but I, I gathered the ingredients together for me to try to make like a, um, I guess like a breakfast wrap or or something like something with tortilla okay so sorry my lips are dry <laughs> but um so I've watched like a lot of cooking channels and I wanted to do some cooking videos and my own cooking channel and stuff like that I mean so if this if I can I don't know how long I get to stay here or what's gonna happen you know but if I can change my name to like Candy Grand Prix Targeted Kitchen or something like that. Because they already got somebody with the name Targeted Chef. And I think he's in the Philippines, so I don't want to steal his name or nothing like that. But, um, so, it's just me working the camera and I can't flip the camera on this phone. So I'm going to try to show y'all as best as I can. I never made this dish before, but I'm going to try it. So I had um, pre, I, I had pre um, pre scrambled up six eggs. I think it's six large eggs in this bowl right here. And I'm gonna try. It's, I guess you can call this a brunch. And then you know, two of these little cups right here of um, green beans. You know, I guess a regular can will probably be like a half a can of green beans. I'm going to drain the juice out of it. And I'm probably going to use like half of the seaweed snacks and crumble them up. And this right here, I put it in here, but it's Chef Paul Pudong's, Chef Paul Pudong's salt-free seasoning. And I got some Himalayan pink salt. And... I'm going to use this to oil the pan, and I got two slices of cheese and two tortillas. This is going to serve two people, and I'm going to use some of this. Um, I don't know how much I'll use this Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and I'm probably going to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. This might be kind of bold flavor. So, and... This is two ears, two smaller, you know, medium or small ears of corn that I shredded with a little knife and stuff like that. So forgive me, I'm nervous. This is my first time trying to do something like this. And so I'm going to um turn, it's been so long since I cooked, you know, so I'm Turn, I just turned the oven on. I mean, the oven too. I'm preheating the oven. And I'm turning the fire on, I guess, medium. And so, I am so nervous. <laughs> Forgive me. So, right now, I'm about to oil the pan with... And this is healthy, you know, mostly healthy, pretty much healthy. And so this could be like a brunch or something. So I'm making um, like two heaping, it might be too much, but two heaping um, tablespoons of coconut oil. I know people, you probably you would use less oil to oil the pan. So, um, hold up. I, I got the product in my hand plus um plus i um, got the phone in my hand so um so i may have to pause the video you know so here's me trying to oil the pan <clears throat> you know right here and um so i i got a <laughs> yeah Hold on, let me try to see if I can. I hope that will. I'm in the way. No. Yes, I am. 
So I got the camera like that. So I'm going to take the eggs. And put them. I'm gonna put the eggs in the um the scrambled up eggs and put them in the um in the in the pan. And so now I'm gonna um take. I'm, I'm gonna put like. Maybe about two pinches of um this salt eighty four pink Himalayan salt. And then I'm gonna um Four pinches of the Paul Prudhomme, maybe three pinches of the Paul Prudhomme um, salt free seasoning. Yeah, three. I'll put three. One, two. No, four. I'm going to put four pinches of the seasoning. And if I'm going to turn the fire down, so. My cooking ain't never bland. <laughs> and so now I'm going to put about um, a drop of the, um, oh, this is cooking fast. Maybe I should have turned the air down, I mean, the fire down on low. But I put, oh, shucks, I put like probably a half a um, teaspoon of um, the apple cider vinegar. And I'm trying to put a drop of this um Mr. Shear sauce. So yeah. So now I'm going to add the um, corn. And the um, drain these two little cups of. green beans This kind of didn't go how I intended, but um, so now I'm gonna scramble up, the, you know, whatever rawness they got left. This turning out to look pretty. Uh, I should try better next time, but this is my first time trying. Forgive me, it's been. Last time I ever cooked was almost two years ago. Almost two years ago was the last time I cooked. I think these, some parts of these might taste, seem like they're overcooked. Maybe, maybe not. But, um, smells good. I haven't 
tried this dish before, but I'm, you know, just cooking a poor man's meal, whatever I got up in here, you know, and um, hopefully, you know, for two people. And trying to mix everything evenly. And so now, she might not approve of this, but I'm going to try something new. This is the sesame flavor seaweed snack. One, two, three. I'll just put like six of these and crumble them up like this. Crumble them up in the um this one, like this could be good for a garnish or something. But I put it inside. So now, big fail. I'm mad. The, the spatula fell. Now I have to sweep them up. I'm trying to be work quickly. This is my first time doing it, so don't be hard on me. Turn the fire off right quick. Wow. I'll be right back. So I'm pre warming up the tortillas and um. I'm pre-warming up the tortilla, so I had to put an extra um, couple of these things in here, these the seaweed. Uh, now it won't crumble, but um, yeah, kind of weird, awkward, <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So I did not realize until... Um, after I started baking that she didn't have, the roommate didn't have any, um, didn't look like she had like any baking hands or anything. So, but while the, um, while the food is, um, while the, um, other stuff, the, um, tortillas are warming up, I wanted to say that I'm gonna tell y'all who and what inspired me for to try to do cooking YouTube videos. I wish I would have thought up something like this back in 2017, because even though I was here in New Orleans and living in Jefferson, Louisiana at the time, and I was at wit's end trying to figure out, you know, where can I how can I get a job and make money and stuff? But they want to make sure me being a targeted individual that I'm suppressed and that they wouldn't make they wouldn't want this channel to flourish, you know, even off of me trying to survive or cooking, you know, that's a threat to them. So um so I mean I started well, you know, when I was little, you know, I guess we used to make our own peanut butter sandwiches, but I guess that doesn't count as cooking. But I guess I probably was six or seven when I first started to cook noodles. And then I was nine years old and tried to cook eggs. But like the foster mom, for a brief moment, she was helping us teach us how to cook and stuff that didn't last long, you know. And so she said, you got to clean up as you cook. And 
you know, she let us pick out our favorite recipes or whatever and t helped us cook it. And one good or positive moment that I have, you know, was a memory of when she taught us how to make butterscotch cookies with like some butterscotch, like but butterscotch morsels instead of chocolate chip. And that's like one small memory that I'll, I'll cherish, you know, despite all the abuse and what we've gone through and everything. So about in 2007, I wanted, I wish that I could have opened up a restaurant. I thought about opening up a restaurant or making a cookbook. I just didn't know how to go about it. And um, I, I didn't, I didn't know how to go about it and or where to turn to like open up my own restaurant or um, get a cook, make a cookbook and work on some recipes and stuff. And I wanted to specialize in soups, casseroles, and desserts, like maybe some pastries or cookies or something like that. And then in 2012 or 2013, after learning about the truth about the Illuminati, the New World Order and all that, I, I, I um, about the, so that's when I learned about natural health and survival and prepping and all that, you know. And I still got a lot to learn. And so I thought that if I would have done like an organic spin or a natural twist on New Orleans dishes, um, I thought, I figured that if I weren't targeted, then that probably could be a hit, you know. So I wanted to make like my own soups, casseroles and desserts. And also, um, I never been too fancy with cooking anyway. You know, I just experiment and just try out my own new things with the resources or the food or whatever is available in the house. And so, um, I mean, just like with the regular writing that I do, I wish there was, I wish I would have known back in 2007. I wish I would have known that I could have written and published, self-published and just threw anything on Amazon. I probably could have made a living off of that too. But now my targeting has gone, you know, it's been overt for a while and full blast. And they're going to make sure I'm suppressed. Make sure that, you know, make sure I don't thrive or flourish. So um, I've been inspired by the lady in the kitchen with Gina Young. I've been inspired by her videos <clears throat> and um, inspired very much by Charlie Andrews from New Orleans, my hometown. His dishes turned out to be so beautiful and perfect. And Kadeb cooking, well, I had to stop watching their videos because of I heard that about them being like trafficked and I didn't want to contribute to that by watching his videos. And I used to watch them. I used to feel like the videos were relaxing to me. I used to feel like they relaxed me, you know. So I felt bad, you know, and I I, I pray for those boys, him and his, well, and his sister too, if they, whoever, if they're all being trafficked and exploited for money, that's a shame. But, um, and a few other, you know, cooking channels that I've been inspired by and, um, but, you know, I don't know how to do the fancy stuff like gumbo and jambalaya. I tried to make my homemade beignets, I mean beignets, years ago, and I failed at it. So um, I never really made jambalaya from scratch, but I think I have it in me to know how to do such a thing, you know. But um, I've made, like, jambalaya out of the box and stuff. So, um and red beans, of course I know how to make that. Red beans and rice or white beans and rice. And I want to one day do um, a red beans, rice, and shrimp recipe. I tried it before, but I think I could have done better. So me talking a hole in y'all head, let me be right back.
So I think <clears throat> the um I think the tortillas are warmed up enough. So I'm gonna get them out of the oven and turn the oven off. Even though I failed, <laughs> I'm still proud of myself. <laughs> I feel accomplished. These are toasty. They're crispy on the edges, especially. Oh, this is hot enough to um, look like it'll melt the plate. That's the pain in the ass part about cooking. So I'm gonna put the two slices, one slice of cheese on each. Um, I'm gonna put a So I'm gonna try to do a taste test of this um little egg mixture. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. That's it right there. So I'm gonna try to do a little sample. Oopsie. I'm trying to make sure I get a little bit of everything. Let's see. It's not that good. Mm. Mm. I like it. So now I'm going to put it, let's see. Well, this stuff looked like something you can put over rice also, but this is how it came out. This right here, and it's two of them. Me, one for me, one for the roommate. So, <clears throat> even though I had that little fail, I hope y'all excuse and forgive me. And, um... You know, I, would like, I look forward to doing another video or some more videos. I don't think I did this perfectly the way I really intended or wanted to, but I did it. And I'm going to try to put the recipe right at, once I get my head together from the sleep deprivation. I'm going to try to get my head together and, um, you, you know, try to write down the recipe on my blog and um you know and then you know keep on just adding more recipes on my blog and also um you know hopefully transform it into a cookbook someday soon so um I wanted to say that you know if you like this demonstration or this presentation you know i have my information in the description box of almost all my videos and so 
if you would like to donate and help me survive or make a living, you know, it would be much appreciated, like from my writings or my, um, you know, from, from my writings or, you know, my cooking demonstrations. I'm from New Orleans, so it should be natural in me to be, like, a damn good cook. Like, pe that's what people expect of me when they hear that I'm from New Orleans. They expect me to know how to throw down. But I don't have much experience with, like, barbecuing on a grill. I 